Recently, the executive director of Kampala Capital City Authority, Jennifer Msite, was the least of schools in the city whose land is at risk of being taken by investors. They include Buganda Road, Bati Valley, Nakasero, Kitante Primary Schools, and Nabagereka Primary School, whose structures were recently demolished. A select parliamentary committee probing the giver of Kampala schools land has landed on letters they claim were authored by Ministry of Education officials. The letters of, the object, of no objection are actually from Ministry of Education. The committee could, however, not divide details of who exactly was authorizing the land giveaway until the minister Jessica Rupo appears before it as summoned. Arupo has not gone before the committee in spite of being summoned thrice. The committee has now directed the Criminal Intelligence and Investigation Department of Police at Parliament to issue fresh summons. If she fails to appear uh, the next time when we issue summons, then our rules are clear that will be contempt of Parliament and then Parliament will handle that. The committee refused to take any information from Charles Bakabulindi, the State Minister for Sports, Indian Minister of Education, who had come to stand in for Arupo. The MPs say they will summon Bakabulindi at a later date to answer queries on the sale of Nachivubo Stadium. So we only want Bakabulindi to own up uh, these uh, communications and the probably uh, guide the committee on why they did that. The committee has also received a request from the former Uganda minister, Bagunyo Ankarubo, who allegedly wants to spill the beans on the giver of school land in Kampala. Specifically in uh, primary school in Namungona and the Navagirika primary school. Yeah, at the same time, she was also the chairperson and she is still the chairperson Namungona Primary School, which is also under threat. The Buganda Land Board will also go before the committee to explain the ownership of land on which Navagarika Primary School was located. Uh, the information we are now getting is that actually this land belongs to Buganda Land Board. Jingo Francis, NTV.